Hello everybody and welcome to Cyber Gamer TV. Tonight I am one of your casters known as Gaz. The other is John. Good um, evening everybody. So uh, at the moment I think Which like we are a little need? bit late. I think we was we're due very to late. Like half past right. Yeah. Unfortunately the teams as ever we're a bit late getting on but still we're we're looking set to go now. Yep. So Tonight the matchup is going to be between the Rugrats and Venom. Uh, I know little about both of these teams. Uh, Venom, I believe, is a French team, right? Are they all French? Yeah, or? yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, I've heard of Shady and Ned. Yeah, so yeah, Venom. I mean, the two of the lineup basically they were in CGI last season, but unfortunately they folded. But they've now managed to find plus three in the form of Ezers, Ned, and Mayon. I think I may have heard of Evers before, maybe played with him like quite some time ago. Yeah, he's been around a while. And obviously Ned, he's played for the likes of, well, I think Play 5 and... Yeah. Oh, what was the French team called back then? Bikey, probably. Well. Yeah, Bikey or Punchline, one of the two. Yeah, there was two French teams, I know that much. It's <laughs> too long to, to which. Um, hey, it's not our scene to follow, so... Yeah, exactly. The French like to keep UK fanboys. What the French are? No, we are. So, oh, okay. Sure. Uh, and then the Rugrats, actually. We'll go on to talk to them in a bit, but uh, for now, we're going to be getting the knife round underway. Uh, uh, in terms of. Yeah, well, I mean. No. Go on. I was just going to say, whilst we're in the knife round, I was going to talk about a little bit about what they're playing for. Uh, basically, HUK, they folded about two days ago. So we had 12 teams all lined up for the Invite League, and then HK, yeah, they had a lineup change. It just wasn't working out for them. So. We were suddenly left with a situation of do we just invite one team or do we, you know, throw a little cup together and see who's actually the better team out of the three and, you know, award ah. the winner the slot. So, what these two teams are doing, they're playing each other and then the winner will go on to play Eeriness this Thursday. Yep. And then the winner of that game will be invited into the league, I where see. that's when they then play for the thousand euros and. So it's not so much an invite, it's more like you're earning your place. Yeah, 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 you're earning your right to play, basically. I mean, even if they're the Quite first good. place seed, I think they are they are definitely favourites to win it. Who's in the Irinus lineup? Uh, so it's, it's Adam Mello. Um, <laughs> that all you know? I think I'm going I'm to say Hitch. It is, oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's a Czech team, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, a yeah. Czech team that they've been around for a while. I'm sure someone in chat can, can throw us a few names, but yeah, it's, it's a team that's been around for a while, so... And they were in CJ last season, but there was a, a minor dispute that, you know, caused them to not get an invite initially, but that has since been resolved, and... And they've been given a second chance, if you like. Yeah. So... I know. So it would probably just like, you know, he's happy. I just got promoted on FIFA somehow. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, this is the whole reason we're late. I was just playing FIFA. We'll just go with that. Um, but this Rugrats lineup, actually, before like I think it was the, you know, the Cyber Gamer tournament, we didn't really know anything about. Them. They just came from nowhere. Yeah, names yeah. That we hadn't really heard yeah. of like. But you did a bit of snooping, and uh, I hear you. I hear you found out who these players actually are. Yeah, so playing for the Rugrats, we actually have um, uh, Luxor, we've got Vanna, Skia, Looney, and it should be Tommy's. Um, obviously Luxor, he's a household name in COD4, played for the likes of Dignitas and Reason Gaming back in the back in the golden days. Vanna, he he uh, he played for Yo-Yo Tech alongside a uh, prone champion Miles Cahill. And they, they actually, they actually, they went to one of the I series lands. I'm not going to give a number for it, but call it I thirty. Yeah, they went to the land and they managed to make their way to the final. And they actually very, very, very nearly won it. They were the underdogs. Okay, Dignitas. They were trolling with weapons. They were using the G three, the M fourteen. But but Yo Tech gave them a good, you know, run for their money. And actually, it came right down to the wire. Oh, I thought you disconnected for a second and you just like, it went right down to the... Oh, I don't know, throw my middle mouse wire. button going again. But yeah, I mean, it came right down to the wire and, you know, I think that was Vanna's breakthrough. Yeah. Um, and then he later went on to go found Vita Nova and that was sort of the the saving grace for COD4 the at the time. body for COD4 for a yeah. long time as well. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, what's interesting is just the fact that you have these players that, you know, played for you know, the top teams at the time when sort of COD4 was in the peak and they just tend to come back every so often. Like, you just see quite a few players who just, they just, I guess, you don't really l lose the love for COD4. It's always a game that's just nice to, to get on and play. And yeah, definitely. They fan fancy their chances with the with the teams that are around uh, these days, but looks like Venom have lost the knife round. And here, so. here's here's a spanner in the works. Have we done the veto? We've already done yeah, the knife I round. Think we have done the veto. Oh, well, we missed that then. Oh, yeah, I missed it for sure. <laughs> it was really quick. It was just over and done within a second. Yeah, let me just. Uh, so Cross was taken out first, then City. And then Rugrats decided to play Strike first, and then uh, Venom went back, wanted Backlot second. Right. So Crash is the decider. So strike and back like they say. Yeah. Well that's alright then, the two best maps in the game, by far. Without uh, a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> I strike strike strike's a well balanced map, it's you know, one that does reward reward tactics, it does reward good nades and backlot is your more random of the two. Favourable to the more mixed teams I'd say. Not, not when you mix with the players that me we mixed with. Oh well, well not saying any yeah, names, I mean, Dennis. Yeah, well, DZD and other <laughs> names. Yeah, I don't want to mention anyone else. How do you? He can hear, he can hear a fly that was still <laughs> still. I mean, I can't say I played very well, but I can't say I played as bad as it, I think it was nineteen and like well, two oh, kills. Two for like, yeah, two for nineteen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> game was over in about ten minutes. Yeah. It was a shame. Then yeah, we're just waiting on no regret. No so hopefully we can get this game started away soon. Obviously it is a best of three, so yep. could be in for a long one tonight. For those just joining as well, this is uh, a little mini tournament for the team to win their place into Cyber Game Invite. Of course, Cyber Game Invite is the season-long tournament where they win 1,000, is it? Well, it's, it's, five, it's 1,000 euro prize, but 500 to the winner, 300 second, 200 third place. Okay, so, so a little bit of money in the game. Their share of a thousand yeah. euros. Um, but yeah, you see less money in uh, newer games these days that are running tournaments, so it's still pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean, I know we talk about time for it a lot, but I mean, it's a shame that game's not really, yeah, but not really taken might, off. There might be hope on the horizon with a game called Recovery. I'm just hoping it it, it does turn out to be good. Um, I think it's basically sort of like a little independent studio. Um, I think Fantasy is doing work with them as well, and they're sort of hoping to achieve uh, an enemy territory slash pro mod hybrid in terms of the gameplay. Right. Um, but in terms of its theme, it's post-apocalyptic um, sort of thing, and it'll just be interesting to see if they can sort of replicate that gameplay because that's the gameplay we all play COD4 for. So. So what's that called again? Uh, recovery. Recovery. It was actually Seacax who mentioned it to me. He's in the chat now. Just seeing him. Hello, Seacax, you've missed nothing yet but knife rounds. But, he's joined us just in time. I'll let you take the first one away, because I know you love doing time. it. They have to wait three minutes until they see it. Yeah, but by the time they get the message, I'm... Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to follow <laughs> off with the uh, the scope for, for uh, Venom, which is, is Shady. Uh, I don't think I've really seen too much of his gameplay before, so though, it's going to be interesting to see what he can pull off with the with the scope and he's just you know gone for that that opening that most scopes do go for just watching the B stairs there is a player there but poor Shade isn't to know that and has gone to look towards A and uh, it's you know there's only Shady and Evers up for Venom at the moment very strong start from the Rugrats and at the moment they're split up quite a bit so you're going to have to be careful because if one player gets taken down, he's all alone and completely away from that revenge frag. And there we go, Evers gets taken down. Shady manages to pick up one onto Rikes, picks up the second as well as a Daffy with a headshot, gets tagged up on the cross. And uh, that was no regret and he's just going to stay and just watch the corners. Oh wow, missed that shot, probably shouldn't have missed it. Shady just saw his head but... Didn't realise until it was too late, but fortunately for him, the bullet was missed. And now it's a 2v1. The bomb is in calf. No regret has eyes on this. And Shady just goes for 
The little pre-fire grabs her bum, jumps out into sight, he's actually made his way into there. JT at the front of A, can actually spot Shady, sees him on the bum. There's no nades for it it seems, and it looks like he's got the bomb down, and is he going to be able to win this 2v1? He gets flashed up on the bomb, takes down one, JT, 1v1 now, gets no regret, can he pick up the kill? Gets attacked onto no regret, no regret, just using that for cover. Huh. Jumps across with the deagle, oh. oh, wow, Shady, what a round from him. Wow, and yeah, yeah I mean, um, sort of venom there, what they tried doing is, it looked like they tried to get into A quickly, you know, test the nade, see what uh, the Rugrats are doing, and... I mean, it worked out for them in the end, but fair to say, I mean, the Rugrats had that round under lockdown. I'm surprised they threw that 1v4 at the end there. Yeah, it's quite weird that they had no nade left for that, for that plant. Uh, yeah, and... and usually you have one saved, at least. I think, I think they... Because the bomb was left in CAF, so I think they all just sort of moved around to the A side, and it gave Shady complete dominance over the street. But, anyway, if we go into this round, we see... Shady there with that sniper rifle, he's peeking out onto A. Does catch a glimpse onto the SMG, doesn't manage to land the shot. Obviously, just feeling over from the last round. As JT does get a frag onto Kuchni there, and we're on a three on two situation. And the round slows down considerably. Mayon's found herself into a great spot, as she will be looking to take out this player going over to Palms. Does need to peek, has just managed to miss him. Can you believe it? As Evers comes around now, trying to get that bomb. He has spotted the one in. B shots, I'm not quite sure he's seen him on his screen. As you have to feel, JT needs to look behind him. He needs to look to his right, but Evers comes in with the frag, and we're in a two on one, and Evers gets a second and takes out no regret, and that's 2 0 already. Yeah, Aaron, from you know that first round, the Rugrats definitely should have grabbed it. There was, I think it was a 3v1, um, and just let it slip completely. Yes, yeah, so it seems that they're just they're struggling to. Yeah, they get, they get the early frags and then it must be a lack of communication or some other... Yeah, you know, something to do with the communication is the most likely reason why they're just not closing the rounds out. Maybe just not being disciplined enough. I just seen yeah. the Venom players there push mid straight onto JT and Garage. And they're just being allowed free roam in this middle which is causing so many problems for the Rugrats. And now it's five men up for Venom against two of the Rugrats and it's not looking very good for them in this round. Could you pick up the kill onto Regret and now it's Reich's all alone. And Evers is there to stop him from rotating to Garage. And an extremely strong round there from Venom. Yeah, I mean, you have to feel that Venom has got full control over that mid straight. And it, it seems like the Rugrats, are pre perhaps their nades aren't quite up to par. You know, they need to, they need to stop them pushing into that street and taking control of front A. As you do usually, see, yeah. Usually you have someone making their way in towards mid shops. Like, say for the Rugrats, should I be having an SMG? Just, you know, getting into mid shops and just yeah, uh, yeah. stopping that control of mid. I mean, re yeah, ideally you want to, yeah, you want to stop the control of mid, you, you want to just get a hold of it, and nades are a great way of stopping that, but I can only imagine that the Rugrats and nades are just, they're not there. We find Skier in a horrible position there, and he gets taken out by Kuchi, abused by three players, and Daffy and Nero get find themselves in a two-on-three situation. Daffy kills Ned, as just Daffy remains on his own now. Kuchi, Mayon, and Shady the fine. Gets pushed by Mayon, and it's 4-0. Wow, definitely was not the start I was expecting. No, no. Um, Venom just coming out strong. I mean, I think it was just that first round from Shady with that 1v4. or was just spurred his team on to, to take it up to the next level. And that's exactly what they're doing at the moment. But we're going to follow Daffy, who has does have the AKs pushed up towards Garage to try and stop this, front, uh, this mid sorry, dominance. But three players have pushed through Link and have managed to push through to the front of A. Reich shuts down Mayan though, who is one of those players. Ned has made his way towards Spawn House. And at the moment, it's probably Venom who have the map control. Daffy though with a nice headshot there onto Evers, who was on B bins. Or Link bins, whatever you want to call it. Ned picks up that sneaky kill onto No Regret. The scope is now down, and Ned is a thorn in their side sitting in the Spawn House. Daffy goes <laughs> for the pre-fire, but only manages to get a few tags. Daffy now with... The wall bangs. Ned still causing havoc though, as Greg was hoping to pick up an easy kill after Ned being distracted, but that wasn't to the case. And now the bomb's down. Daffy's got two players left to find. Oh wow, that time in there from Daffy. Uh, sorry, from Ned on the peak. Daffy not able to utilise him though, and got 25 seconds left. 
because you're just playing the, the more cautious role sitting at the back of that green car. Uh, and there we go. His teammates no, it was really well played there. Yeah, they they had the had the bomb in the perfect position planted so that um, Shady, I think it was Shady, yeah, whoever anyway, whoever the second player was left, you know, could just sit back and spawn, watch a bomb whilst Ned, you know, did all the aggressive play. Yeah, it's they did a bit of a dance there. Uh, Venom made the way towards B, and the majority of the regrets ended up towards Mid Street and. Yeah, I mean, and it's like once again we see Venom. They've just three people have pushed in through that front A, and it seems like the Rugrats are just letting them take control of the A site, and they're not being able to overtake it. You know, it's just they need to sort their nades out if they, if they want to come back into this. But anyway, we find no regret here in a one-on-five situation. We've got it all to do. Shady managed to pull something off very similar in the first round, so it's by no means impossible. But Ned jumps on that little bin, takes out no regret, and. You have to feel that the Rugrats perhaps they haven't done their homework. Yeah, and if they if they want that spot in uh, CGR, it's something that should have been done way beforehand. I guess uh, they only had a few days to sort of practice for this, but nevertheless, they should be doing better than this if uh, they truly deserve the spot in CGI, But take nothing away from Venom. Extremely good start for them. Find themselves six up on this first map. Here's of course a best of three. But yeah, I mean we should point out. I mean Venom, yeah, they, they they've all had sort of CGI experience. You know, Shady and Kudji, they played in it last season. Ned, he's played for Bikey, Punchline. Yeah, the the top French team. So Venom, they're they're a bit more current in the game. They have a lot more experience at the minute. The Rugrats, yeah, they are experienced, but they. That was sort of four or five years ago, and the game's changed a lot since then, so... Where did they end up finishing in uh, the C Cybergamer tournament? Uh, the Rugrats? Yeah. Uh, it was... Like top 8? Yeah, I think it was top 8, they... They, they, they... Anyway, yeah, against I think... Phase. No, that was, it was, oh my god, who lost the phase, it was... They played against Made in Germany, if I remember rightly. And that, that was in the... yeah, it would have been in the quarter-final. But uh, if the Rugrats play this right, they could find themselves winning the round, but that's not going to be the case as Kudja picks up the kills. And now it's a 1v1, Shady spots reg... there we go, no regret. Managing to close that round out and getting the first round on the scoreboard. Yeah, and I mean, looking at that round, I mean, Skier, he managed to... or Reek, sort of you can call him. Yeah, he managed to throw a great... he got a, he got a good flash at the right time into Calf, and that just completely stop Venom in their tracks getting into that A site and and it's just it's, it's little things like that that can change the round but we do see oh. Venom once again trying to push into that front A Greg does manage to stop one down but gets soon taken down as Daffy gets a lovely double frag there taking down Kuchi in the process as Shady finds himself all on his own now free to find gets heavily tagged up there by Daffy as he's now peeking round into that street doesn't quite know where one is. He's got one at single palm, one pushing around behind, and one holding that mid shops area. As Daff as Shady rather does find himself against that clock. Bomb is down in A. As he will be now trying to make his way through front A. He's got a feeling one's in mid shops. Doesn't quite know where. As he probably will find himself caught with his pants down. Manages to spot Daffy, and Daffy misses a lot of shots there. He perhaps should have landed that frag as. Shady's getting taken up left, right, and centre, pushed by no regret, and they've managed to take two rounds back. Yeah, and what I just saw there actually was um, the Rugrats and A still not really doing too much on A. Um, I feel like if they if they want to shut that A push down fully, they need to sort of delay them because their nades are going way too early, and then Venom utilise that after. So maybe just have one player that just holds a holds an A back and throws it late just to catch Venom off guard. But Venom getting off to a very good start here, taking down two players, Daffy, and. Reeks and Rugrats. Two players on B. In fact, three players over towards B side. A side is completely Venom's if they want it. Let's see where the bomb is. Over towards the A side now. Looks like it's going to get planted. The Shady picked up another kill onto JT. My on onto Greg. And now it's a 1v4. No regret. The scope for this Rugrats side has got four players to find. They've all got plenty of time on the board, but there are players just around his position. Guess the tag's onto Mayon with a deagle, but wasn't able to do much more than that. Yeah, I mean, looking at that round, I mean, what Venom did there was really smart. They sent 
they sent two players, I think it was both the SMGs, they sent both the SMGs on, um, and so that would have made the Rograts go, oh, hang on, is it a B push? And, you know, they slowly then worked A with the remaining three players and sort of worked their way into that site, and that just caught the, you know, the Rograts off guard, and they found themselves predominantly on the B site, meaning A was just freely open for Venom, and they had full reign on it, and, you know, once again, we see both SMGs, they're making their way into that B site, and... Mayonk found herself into a great spot there, but no regret. Manages to land that no scope as JT chimes in with a frag onto Kudzi, and now it's just three on five. Shady, Ned, and Evers have it all to do. The bomb is over, pushing towards that B side. As no regret catches a glimpse of Shady, and just 55 seconds left on that clock. Evers and Ned find the frag onto Daffy and JT, and suddenly we're down to a three on three as. You have to feel this is the Rugrats round to lose. And we now find just 40 seconds left on that clock. Greg, perfect peak, manages to kill down Evers. And Shady and Ned are all that remain for Venom as they try to pull forward 8-2. And Greg with the wallbang through onto Ned. And suddenly it's just Shady all that remains. As he's now making his way into the site. Manages to tag up Greg there. And tags are all wow. that he could make, and that was a fantastic round from Greg. Um, what he had done was there was uh, Evers who was causing a lot of trouble on uh, on B Link. He was just uh, peeking people at double double palms, and, and Greg actually, you know, got tagged from him as well. But what Greg did was he threw out a smoke towards the Link, which then made Evers push out across the street to try and go through right. the smoke. Yeah. And uh, in return, uh, Greg was able to pick up that kill, and after that, picked up two more. So. Round really there, uh, one by, one by Greg. Well, speaking of Greg, he just over peaked there. He got a lovely kill onto Garage, and then he peaked an AK mid street. And it's 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 the minor peaks like that which completely changed the round. Yeah. Yeah. Had Greg stayed in, he would have you know they would have been a man up, and they would have been held to hold an extra angle. But nevertheless, he decides to go for that peak, and they suddenly find themselves in a two on two. Venom, they have just one minute left to find the remaining player of Reeks as he is inside A. Catches a glimpse onto Kuchi, lands a frag, he's oh, got the bomb. bomb. And it's just Evers that remains as Reeks, he does peek out, doesn't see the feet to the right of his weapon and he gets caught out by a proner. By a proner? Yeah, that's what they're commonly known as, you see. Oh, okay. Mois is a proner. <laughs> Was a proner. Okay, he's no longer a pro. Okay, no. anyway. So, Venom still extending their lead. Currently 8 3 up. Very strong position for them at the moment. On this attacking side as well, uh, probably slightly more favoured side, depending on how good your nades and smokes are. Oh, wow. No regret there. Expect fully expecting Shady to be peaking. Calf picks him up. And now. It's all even as Man takes down Reese with the Deagle. No regret then, straight onto Evers. And at the moment, it's just a trade of kills, but it looks like the Rugrats have favoured this little trade off. And uh, Man there pushing in towards A. He has spotted JT. JT getting tagged up, and realistically, JT just has to sort of go a bit more defensive here because he's just going to get an un unnecessary death otherwise. But it looks like he's got two passive. He's run all the way towards Flower, but this might work out for him as Man has decided not to go for the bomb but to push towards Link. No regret in the middle of the street there spots him so that means that JT now his teammates probably going to try and push up. Can't get <gasps> attacked. He's just missed Mayan standing out in the open and it, that was a, a big mistake. I didn't see what happened on from JT's side. Well JT his position here has just been pretty terrible and he may have, he may have just delayed enough time there from Mayan not to get the bomb down. That he's gone straight for the plant, and now JT pushes in towards A. Know that Mayan has to try and either get the bomb down or get the kill, and the safest option is to get the bomb down. Mayan's gone towards the back of Fountains. JT pushing in now, and what was once a favourable position for JT, seeing Mayan in the middle of the street in the open, has resulted in uh, Mayan winning the round. And I have no clue what JT was doing there. I don't either, and I think I think that round's probably going to be a that's going to be a rage on Team I mean, that that was their round. Yeah, they had the perfect crossfire setup. Um, who is it? Yeah, no regret. He was 
stood in the middle of the street, you know, distracting Mayon. All JD had to do was jump onto that bin. And it was a free yeah. kill. And I can only... I, we weren't watching JT, but I can only imagine he must have struggled getting on the bin or something. But but I've I seen his head while his teammate was pushing onto the... Pushing, you know, in the middle of the street. But what... what Like, if that was me, the scope, with no regret, and I died, and my teammate didn't get the, the you know, the revenge for I'd be so annoyed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's questions being asked on TeamSpeak right now, because that was that was their round, and that's that's a game-changer. Yeah, they're now 9-3 down, going into half, 8-4... It's still not a great, great defence, but it's at least you know doable. I think nine three. That's that's asking for too much, to be honest. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Ned. Actually, he's uh, the the one who's top fragging at the moment with fifteen and nine. I hadn't really realised how well he was doing, but we're just going to see what he's getting off to do with. He has got the AK pushed fairly <laughs> aggressive into A. Gets the hit fire tag onto Greg. Now Ned pushes back around, tries to tag up Reeks. Does do that, Greg? Oh wow, JT pushing the calf at the right time this time. And was able to pick up that, that kill. But now it's a 3v3. No regret in mid shops. He's going to be picked up by Evers. Evers watching that ever so carefully. Sees JT push out onto the A site. Goes towards the bum. He has gone for the plant. Greg picked up the kill onto Shady as well. Who was probably distracted by that bomb plant. Evers just trying to throw some shots off. Go for the pre-fire as well. Around the corner. Onto Greg. Oh, bad timing there from Evers as he faces away. Greg pushes the corner with the SMG. And now it's a 1v1. Can Greg clutch this one out to give his team that little bit of hope on this map? Because at the moment, it's not looking great for them as they're, you know, they're 9-3 down. And that's a lot of rounds to come back from. Kujic trying to push his way towards the bomb because he's going to run out of time. But Greg, well held there from him. You know, stuck close to the, stuck close to the statue and was able to win that. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I can't remember who was sort of uh, on the Rugrats Alive just then. It might have been JT, but... Whoever it was, he was behind the bomb, landed a hell of a lot of tags into calf, but didn't land, yeah, managed to land the frag, and I don't know if it's just they're over-peaking too much, or if they're just having a few aim issues, but yeah, I feel like the Rugrats, they need to turn something around, because, you know, they're just, I don't think, like I said, I don't know if it's over-peaking, or they're just their aims failing them, but for some reason, they keep getting picked off, and it keeps going down to these one-on-one, -on -one, one-on-two situations, when really it should be a, a comfortable three-on-one, yeah, with them taking the round. But anyway, we see Daffy takes down Effers as the bomb goes down, courtesy of JT and Kutu and Shady. They find themselves with it all to do as Kutu lands a bit of a tag, gets the frag actually onto Daffy and Shady ki kills Reeks. And suddenly it's now a one on three situation as Shady slowly peeks around with the sniper rifle out. He's got 20 seconds left on the clock and Greg peeks round and manages to kill the frag and the frag, the player and... Yeah, they find themselves with two rounds off, you know, from the attacking side, and it's a, a good start. Yeah, Rugrats finally found themselves in a, a in a position that they could take control of. You know, the other rounds that they've sort of won felt, you know, it, it could have gone anywhere just due to, to clutch plays, but finding themselves free one up with only one player left to find was uh, was much better from them. The, uh, the setup was a, a little better in terms of defending, and, and now it looks like uh, they're using that as a bit of a, a confidence booster as... It's now 5v3. Then um, just most of them trying to hold this A site, and yeah. if 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 you know Rugrats capitalise on this, they could push towards B. Evers on this garage car is getting tagged up, and Reeks is going to push there. Great team play from them. Fully distracted. Greg as well taking down Shady, which means it's all down to Ned and Greg coming from the back. While Ned is a bit twitchy, wasn't sure where they was going to be coming from. Yeah, I mean this is really well played from Rugrats. I mean, what what they did there is they they sent yeah several players off to be. They, they did the split push basically. So they yeah they had several players go off to be. They had a player holding the A the A rotate. So he was watching over towards garage and A. Um, yeah, they managed to get the early picks off in B, and then that was when they thought right we'll take the bomb back round to A. But fortunately, they managed to kill two or three inside the B site. Allowing him to get round fully into the B, and yeah, they picked off the A rotators rather easily, and and the sort of the splitting that works really well on strike because you get the slow picks, the slow game, and and all it takes is for Venom to peak. But this round, it's yeah, over nice. before we know it, and yeah, we get a teammate's courtesy of Venom. Wow, that was a you no know, a little bit different. Turned on its head in the base of a round. 
strong, strong round for Venom. Jake's it with a nice, a nice, <laughs> a, a nice frag grenade onto Ned in the middle of the street. Ned, I think, was going to be trying to push up to either walk towards garage or or mid shops, but he was sh shut down pretty quick. Matty and, and Shady both pick up kills. And at the moment, it's a 3v3. We've got mm. Joe AT here just sitting in. Has dropped the bomb because he's going to try and get a pick on a player, but there is no one around, Kath. But there is a player just inside at statue. JT would have been called out now. Evers was trying to shoot him. But Mayon is the player inside on statue. JT now is in a bit of a pickle actually because there's two players who are who know exactly where he is, and he tries to go for the pre-fire onto Mayon, but didn't actually catch too much of him. Evers picked up the frag onto no regret. JT still going for this, these shots onto Mayan. He would have just spotted Evers. Evers going for the shot through the wall. Tagging up JT, but not that heavily. Daffy going to have to try and help his team out now. But it looks like Evers is, is expecting the flank. He's expecting that player to just try to make his way around while his uh, teammate's there. Jumps across the street. Daffy spots wow. him, but Evers, great shots coming out from him. Goes for the shots onto JT as well. Picks up that kill. The level yeah, that was really well held. That was really well held. You know, Mayan, she had calf, she had front A. Evers... He had the rotates. I mean, the problem with strike is if you don't get into A early or you don't make a commitment early, you just get locked in that underlook area. And when teams are playing like Venomar, where they're just holding the angle, it becomes a complete stalemate and almost impossible to do anything oh. about it. <laughs> Smoke shot there from Shady. But yeah, I was going to say actually about the whole thing. The way Shady defends is how is how Rugrat should have. But Rugrat's just you know over peaked areas, got into positions that weren't favourable. But Venom, they hold their angles, they sit in tight, and, and because of that, they're just not able to hold these defensive rounds. And apologies on stream, someone just steamed me and it's made a lovely noise. Rookie oh, error. Rookie error. What are you on steam for? Oh, it, didn't make a no it didn't make a noise earlier, and now it does. Oh, calm down. Anyway, Venom 12 6 up. Map point at the moment. So we might as well take it away with one of the. the Venom players, we're going to go with Ned, he's still on the frag and bridge team, no regret with the first blood of the round, taking down Shady in that scope v scope battle, Ned throwing nades and flashes towards B link and he's uh, just going to try and hold down this B site as, as actually Rugrats have, have managed to get two players inside of A, there is one player pushing the B side as well, he's going to be caught off guard, no he's not, Greg falls to Kudzi. Now it's a 3v4. Wow, another great pick off there from Gushi. And again, Explosive the Rugrats are dying unnecessarily. And they managed to get the bomb down, but now it's a 3v2. They have the, the you know, the, the man disadvantage. And they're going to find it extremely hard to clutch out this round. Ever's going for the pre fire onto JT. JT getting taken out by Gushi. Mm. And wow, around there from Gushi. They seem, they seem too slow there. I mean,. They, they, they smoked A bins and the bomb was only coming out onto the A site once that smoke had cleared. So there must be a lack of communication here because you know if, if your teammates just smoke the bins, use that smoke, get to the A site. You know don't don't hang around and calf. Either that or literally I I don't know how serious these guys are taking it considering they're like you know a lot of old players that are sort of return. Maybe they're just like. They just play yeah, yeah, just yeah, go yeah, with yeah, the flow and yeah. just see what happens. Yeah, I mean, as you say, they are all you know, from the older generation, if you like, sort of mid-20s, so... And so once what you get to that stage, you, know, you suddenly go to the point where well, not really worth the time. Was you know, this the result you was expecting? Uh, it's... Yes. Yes and no, I mean... I think I think we always knew that Venom they have the like I said earlier they're more current they've got the experience yep. a bit more um, whereas the Rugrats yeah they've got the household names as such but they haven't yeah they haven't got the time to dedicate to the game as much anymore and they haven't played it for a while and so I mean yeah I mean like I said like I said at start strike it's sort of favour yeah it's a map that favours the tactics the you can really do well if you yeah, have which is ex what you'd expect good nades well. and smokes whereas back a lot I think this is going to be a an either either way yeah 
Yeah, you know, they've got. I think the Rugrats have a better chance on this map purely because they feel as if they're more of a mix than a team at the minute. The issue is though, players like JT, just you know, from what he did, are really going to have to step up the game. He's going to have to, you know, really, really, you know, lift yeah, his yeah, aim in a way yeah, because definitely. Uh, if he'd got those kills on on the previous map, it would have been at least one or two more rounds won. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of times where it's just, it's not gone his way, and it happens, it happens, yeah, I mean, we, we can say how it's, it's perhaps like the team down or somewhat, but it, these things happen, you know, it happens to everyone at the best of times, and yeah, it's just one of those things of COD 4. But anyway, we find ourselves going into the second map of tonight, By the way, I, I just want to say, can we stop saying there? I don't know, I, I haven't been counting, so. Well... If you'd been counting, the counter would have reached the infinite. <laughs> it's like he gets a good frag there, and else is there and such. Well, everywhere is called there. Well, that's true. But still, it's no excuse. Well, looking into this round, we see the Rugrats favouring for that heavy, heavy oh, B that push. Kill. They're just rushing down there, picking people off left, right, and centre. But we finally find ourselves in a three on four, whereas Venom looked to take over that site once again. As Daffy and JT heavily tagged up here. No regret has got himself into a good spot here. Lands a lovely shot onto Kudzi. Oh. And suddenly we're on a one-on-one -on -one situation. Ned versus No Regret. And should land a nice little deagle shot as Ned pushes forward to that bomb site. And with just 20 seconds left on that clock. He lands a lovely little shot there onto Ned and a strong first round from the Rugrats. I've gotta say, I can't remember the last time I've seen an aggressive B push like that. That's very true. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> it's a very. I think it's maybe something that only works once, really, because I think it's easier to defend the B side, especially. In yeah, and I, I don't really think it's something that you expect on the first round. You know, yeah. I mean, the first round, you, you typically you just want to test the nades. Team you know, gauge, yeah. Yeah, you just want to see what the team's that. doing and and see where you can push in the next round. But so it's, it's it's a good tactic to throw a team off guard. Yeah, and it did exactly that. Ended up winning the round after. No regret clutched up 1v1 with the eagle. And now, TR find themselves a man up in this second round. Will uh, JT pick what up the frag onto Shady and they know exactly where Evers is now because he just tried to shoot Daffy. Evers just going for the, the shots into bottom A and Daffy's just holding tight here and if he keeps doing that he might be able to get the kill but over peaks it anyway and Evers caught off guard jumping out of Bruins. And that's the second round on the board for the Rugrats. Yeah, so it's... The Rugrats playing it really well. I'd be interested to see what Venom are doing wrong here. I mean, you are full screen, by the way, aren't you? Just yeah, we are full screen. Okay. Mate, I've not made that mistake. Oh my god! Right, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite your head off now. Right, let's do that. that like it? Never mind. Carry on. Oh, you just ruined the flow. Now you've ruined the stream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> ruined it. Lost. Ruined it. Hashtag blame John. Come on, lad. No, you've ruined it. Alright, nah. anyway, well I'll, I'll talk then, if you want nah, you can talk on. Oh, that's awkward as hell now. Well, anyway, so we find the Rugrats, have, they've... It looked like they went for that early A push, but Venom, I mean, they had one that went straight up front A, through to Bricks, and Ned, he managed to get himself into A site, so... Venom, they're, they're sort of changing things up now, they're trying to get the aggressive sort of front A, try and get around, push up them, you know, push towards them quickly so to speak. But anyway, we find No Regret and Daffy suddenly find themselves in a two on three situation as Shady spots No Regret. Perhaps should have landed that frag but didn't quite manage to connect anything and you have to feel that the favour is suddenly in no the Rugrats as they have that bomb down. Venom, they've got two to find. 40 seconds left on the clock and Shady, he will be trying to worm his way around. He did hear the player jump over here. Lands a lovely shot onto No Regret. And Daffy finds himself all on his own. And Shady walks up those stairs. Takes Daffy out and... You know why I'm laughing? No, I don't. You like something else. You say a lot as well. Explosives diffused. You want to know what it is? I could probably guess, but I'm not Go going on. to. No. Go on, guess. They find a lot. I probably say a lot of words a lot because this he is the. He finds himself over here. He finds himself in the three v one. He finds himself <laughs> short. He finds himself missing those bullets. He finds himself. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll whip my thesaurus out. Hang on. Yeah, cheers, mate. I need one as well, to be fair, because I recognise <laughs> a, a, a lot of things are the same. 
Yeah, but we I don't we don't cast enough. I can't, even, I can't even speak in proper England sentences. Proper England sentences, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the problem but, uh, is Rugrats, Rugrats have gone for the A push, and there's there's three players over towards. Is it three players? Sorry, two players. One was taken down, and no regret has decided to rotate outside of A and is now sitting in lower mid house. Greg picks up the revenge frag. I'll, say, I'll probably say picks a lot. Anyway, picks up the revenge frag. And now... Actually, no regret here is pushing up to... Uh, this is going to be a critical frag onto Evers here. Completely oh. unsuspecting. And now, suddenly, they find themselves in a two-on-one situation. There we say finds once again as... <laughs> Could you... He's in a one-on-two. He's just got 35 seconds left on the clock. And obviously the attack inside need to get that bomb down. And that car is going to go kaboom straight into his face and this is some strong can stuff. Do, can we do themed rounds? That I maybe not this one. Well, that's not bloody DayZ where pick, you roll a dice and choose no, no, no. which character you are for the no, whole so session. We, we pick a certain theme and then depending on what that theme is, that like instead of saying killed or or you know something like that, we we change it with, with uh, you know a word of that theme. And he gets the pirate onto <laughs> the pirate. I don't want to go pirate themed. Well, uh, we need Keith to do that. No one knows Keith. Ah, uh, what Keith does pirate theme? He, he's what a you, boss what pirate. You mean the voice? Uh, okay. Good. When he talks, Keith is very good. <laughs> when he does that, it's so sick. Anyway, it's a three v two. Regrets. Got the man up. Because you're getting tagged up from Daffy and JT, I believe. Both of them trying to fire shots through the top of A. No regret catches him while he's uh, sitting there hiding, whimpering, trying to make sure he doesn't die, but wasn't able to do that. Ned picks up the kill onto Daffy. And now. It looks like he's going to be trying to rotate, but the bomb's going to get down on A. JT is planting that. No regrets in covering him as well. Explosives planted. They know roughly where Ned is. He killed the teammate. But by this point, he could be anywhere. Oh wow, great deagle there from Ned. Uh, sorry, from No Regret picking up a few tags onto Ned. Ned literally must have had about five health. And uh, oh, No Regret almost picking that. Might be shot up, and JT finishes off that round with the AK. And, yeah, uh, that's really well played by. Bit of a difference to strike. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And like I said, I think that's because backlight sort of favours the more, the lesser disciplined team. It you know. Yeah. You, you're not you're not penalised if your smoke isn't so just what, perfect or. What is backlot based on then? If it's not based on teamwork, what 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 you know wins your rounds on backlot? I, obviously, the sort of the early nades are still critical, but I think with backlot, because it's such a tight knit map, um, if your nades don't Gun quite connect, reactions. yeah, well no, it, it's, it's sort of if your nades don't quite connect in the early offset, you know, on the early stage, then you can sort of claw the round back just by getting a few sort of picks oh. here and there. Yeah. Yeah, because it's because it's such a it's such a closed map that you can sort of worm your way around places. Yeah. Whereas when you look at Strike, it's got you know two main roads, and the only way to get to a bomb site is to cross one of those roads. So that's true. I guess at, at a certain point, you know, you can be you can be you know just go in complete stealth mode, not be seen, and all of a sudden pull out two or three kills. Yeah, which obviously turns around on its head. But uh, Evers, last one alive for Venom. See if he can clutch this one out. Spots no regret in the bottom of mid. JT in the top of mid as well. And interesting position in there from Rugrats. Both of them in mid house, we one on each level. The thing is that, that that works though in those situations. When you don't know where the player is, you know, just, just run the clock down a little bit. Wait for Venom to make their move. Wait for Evers to, to peek and say where he is and then work to that. So. Yeah, it's, it's not all about getting the bomb down straight away. If you, you sort of play your cards right, try and work out where the player is and then take it from there. But anyway, we see Daffy here running that bomb down onto the B site. He's going to try and get that plant down as Kudzi, Shady and Ned are all that remain and trying to rein in that fire into the B site but not managing to connect onto anything just yet. As oh. JT and Reitz coming with kills onto Shady and Kudzi and it's 6-1 now and... Well, we're just seeing a, a mirror of strike, but in favour of the Rugrats. Yeah, and again, that B push from Rugrats. So good, so strong. And 
Venom just looking like they can't really do anything about it. Finally, we see a map that Rugrats are able to land nades on. And they've opened up extremely strong in this round. Three players down for Venom. However, Ned did just get the SMG kill onto JT. Daffy pick up the kill onto Kudji. So now it's all down to Ned. Ned is in mid house. Daffy gets the tag but doesn't get the frag. Ned extremely tagged. But no other player around him to close it out. Ned's now got to clutch his 3v1. The bomb's down on A. So he's still got it all to do. There is a player just at the top of A. No regret. There's also a player in garage. Oh, wow. Ned it's expected that. Yeah, there was a peak that was not needed. He could have just literally sat in that corner waiting to push past. But just because he heard him, he thought he'd be able to make the frag. But Ned flashed up. Two of the, two of the Rugrats players were uh, looking at him. No, I mean, I think, I think that's the problem with the Rugrats, that they, they tend to peak too much, and I think back in the older days, that was sort of the norm, yeah, you, you hear something, you peak, you rush, you, the, the game was a lot faster, whereas nowadays, you sort of, I think you just need to be a bit more conservative, you know, have a... Yeah, because players expect it, players expect yeah. people to, to peak, and, and that's exactly what cost him his life there. I, I just think you just need to just hold an angle, I know it's boring and not many teams enjoy doing it, but, but when it's a three-on-one situation and, you know, there's actually something on the line, then... Why not just hold the angle for an extra two seconds, yeah? Why why risk the chance of losing the round? It's, it's not worth it. Yeah. Very true. And I mean, when you look at the scoreboard, I mean, no regret there. He's 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 favouring the scope. He's managed to, you know, land eight frags, two deaths, whereas Shady, he's taken up the AK, and yeah, he's not quite... He's not quite on the same level as, as no regret at the minute, so... Tactical perhaps that's up. perhaps that's what's doing it for the rug right? Yeah, you know, perhaps the scopes just managed to land those few early frags, whereas Shady yeah. isn't quite managing to. That's true. Shady to, was to work a, much uh, of the AK. Yeah, you know. he was a strong performer on the previous map with the scope. I mean, a lot a lot of scopes do favour the AK on back lot simply because, like we said earlier, it's such a close knit map that you can't really make much use of the scope, but. But yeah. yeah, nevertheless, it's a one-hit kill. So if you manage to to get yourself top A or into a yeah you know, solid position, you get full control over over the map more or less. So yeah, it does seem Venom are just looking to talk things out, work out what's going wrong, take a bit yeah. of time, stop the stop the momentum of the Rugrats, and you tell how much they won it because you know very rare you see a team. All the time out. I think they like just prefer to think, uh, like it's all right, we'll we'll do it, and then before they know it's too late, find themselves, you know. Yeah, and I mean, and yeah, we we look back to the days of a Nexus, their infamous a Nexus timeouts, as they were called. Yeah. Where didn't matter what the scoreline was, if they were down and they called a timeout, that was it. You were destined to lose. Did they? Did they ever have coaches in in COD Four? I, I see that in uh, various other games. Yeah, I, I don't think they did. I mean, because I think that would be something that would be useful, especially on search and destroy. Because someone watching sort of like from a from a kill spec point of view can can see where the team's going wrong, where people where they're attacking. Whereas when you're playing, it's a lot harder to see that. Yeah, but then the, I guess you have got demos, and yeah, the the, the keener teams yeah, but out I mean, there in will. The middle of a game, like, if yeah, true. Game yeah, and yeah, you... yeah, yeah, and yeah, that f that sick fire can can sort yeah. of set you straight in game yeah that's true and plus uh, yeah you can like you can say where it's going wrong you can also sort of be the motivator be like when you're getting kills and stuff like really royal the team up very true uh, anyway we do see a stalemate coming up here as the round draws to a slow and the Rugrats are trying to worm their way through over to that B side as they have lost two members already there's no regret. He's about to find himself a player of his own. Lands the frag onto Evers, and that's the AK that's holding B down. And suddenly Venom they find themselves having to rotate from the A site as oh. I believe it's Kuchi. Back on that. Oh, Shady. Shady here. He's got him. Yeah, he's in a great position here to actually stop the plant B favors just to hold out. Let them get into a position. Le listen to where they go. Doesn't manage to catch a glimpse onto No Regret. Doesn't manage to land any tags as JT kills Kudzi and Daffy oh. 
manages to kill Shady and suddenly Mayon finds herself in a one on three and Good crossfire. It's that slow push that worked well for them. Yeah, the thing is Shady should have got no regret on the on the cross. He tagged him up extremely heavily. I feel like if he had that kill, he would have left the bomb planter in a one V one to plant the bomb. Just yeah, I, from who was around there, like that would have put him in such a better position. I mean, I feel like Shady in that situation, he probably should have taken the risk and just tried to kill the stop the plant. You know, yeah. buy his team a bit longer to get round to the B site. Yeah. But yeah, matter of the moment. Yeah, hindsight twenty twenty and all that. But as it stands, the three v four. Make that a 3v3 as Greg picks up the kill onto Evers. And the bomb is going over towards that B site once again. Shady this time should stand Greg before he can do anything. And now, Rugrats aren't in a very favourable position. Oh wow, nice play there from No Regret. New Shady was going to be trying to peek him on that plant. And because of that, caught him completely off guard. Deagles him in the back. It looks like now No Regret should be going to be rotating towards A. That's quite clever there from him as both of these Venom players are pushed towards B but the issue is, is if he takes too long Venom are already getting him making the way over towards A but no Riga picks up the kill and now it's going to be Kujia who starts to make his way towards A he's being silent though he doesn't want the Rugrats to know that he is rotating but because of this sneaky play they're going to get the bomb down which is going to put a big disadvantage as no Riga jumps across Kujia knows exactly where he's gone and he's going to try and find this kill before he tries to do anything with the bomb or the other player and the player's gone straight down. Oh wow, this is great play again from the team, but... No! What happened? That was so well, unlucky. Could she actually seen him peek up? I don't understand why he didn't shoot him. It seemed like... Really yeah, yeah, I, 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 just, I don't think... I don't think could she spotted him. I think he was just so focused on... On perhaps thinking he'd gone to mid-building or something. That he didn't quite see him in the foreground at tank. Yeah. I mean, that was that was unlucky as hell from Skier there. I mean, he... He was sort of front A, he was watching towards back A and then turned almost at the wrong moment which allowed Kuchi to get into A site and that that one little moment could have been a complete game changer. Yeah, totally. But now it's 9-1 and that's a big deficit. Yeah, I mean that's a huge and that'll be so important going into defence. They'll be so pumped, you know. Re I mean they'll, they'll be fighting now to get into the third map and and try and do something on Crash, which... Daffy and Ever's going to be coming up against each other very soon. Ever's just peeking at the door at the right time. Oh, wow, great peek there from Daffy. Gets the headshot onto Ever's. Ever's should have won that fight, but I guess he wasn't expecting to peek just at that time. And because of that, Daffy had the advantage. And the bomb going over towards that beast site again. And I've got to say, this is like... One of the first times I've seen the bomb go over to... Oh, Daffy, Daffy missing shots. In the mid where he shouldn't have been. Reach going for the shot onto Shady. But Shady picks him with the Deagle. And I think that round was wouldn't trust from Rugrats not making the uh, those vital kills. Yeah, and you have to ask. I, I'm not quite sure what Evers is doing here. I mean, he's on 2 for 11. And every time he's just getting picked off at top ruins. You know, he's he's always losing that firefight. And he's never, he's never expecting anyone to push him. And it's happening every single round. And... He's always Sorry. he's always favouring top ruins, and he's oh, he's obviously got no cover. That's one thing for sure. But and if he's favouring the tin way, oh. go on, you go for it, go on. No, I was just going to say this time Ned actually got aggressive on that B side. He's finally had enough of of Rugrats pushing that side and shut down any aggression before he got there. Ever spots one player, Red Container, who gets a tag though, doesn't get the kill, and his teammate picks it up. And Ever's on two and eleven. Is it going great for him as he gets picked off <laughs> picked off by Riggs and? Now a 1v1. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Shady going through Tin Rat Hole. Oh, they're going to miss each other. Tin. Yep, they are going to... Oh, hang on, no, they're not. As Reeks... Oh! Wow! Last two bullets as well. Can you believe it? The timing was unreal. <laughs> Found himself right behind his back as he turned the corner. and Venom, unless they had a miracle there, weren't going to make that kill. Yeah, I mean, I feel Venom, they needed to do something more about that B-side sooner. I mean, as you said, that last round, Ned, he pushed up aggressively, managed to get straight up to, well, I assume front ruins, maybe even up to sort of mid-building area, but I just feel like it seemed like Evers was a lone soldier trying to hold B, and yeah. he often found himself getting pushed, and he was never anticipating that push when he perhaps should have been, and 
The thing is, is I think if I was doing that bad, if, if I was at a point where I was like 2 and 5 or 2 and 7, whatever it might be on, on B, what I'd tend to do is just go a lot more defensive and just hold the, you know, the avenues they can push. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, you're on defence. I, I wouldn't try and cover everything, but I'd just cover, like, yeah. one specific thing, like, either, like, Ruin's Door or something, but I'd sit pretty far back, so if it comes, push comes to shove, if I can't make the kill, then I'd just back off and let my team sort of, like, come and support me. Yeah, and I mean, you're on defence, so the pressure is on attack to get the bomb down, and... And defence on this map, you can you can get quite a solid sort of defence set up just by holding an angle sort of near spawn area. You, you don't need to push out sort of thing, so... So pra perhaps yeah. Venom, they could have just had a little chat during the team, yeah, the timeout. As so I said, guys, look, we just need to hold angles now. But whatever they chose to do obviously didn't work and... I mean, perhaps it's back players, to the drawing board. Two of Venom's players like died every single round, so... Yeah. Just tells you there that either they're uh, getting too aggressive in terms of the the way they're peeking, or there's just no cover from the teammates. Well, I mean, in, f in fairness to Venom, I mean, I think the Rugrats, the the way they push B is it's it's almost unlike anything we've seen before. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not often that teams do abuse that B site as much as they have been, and so perhaps Venom just weren't. Went ready for it, didn't anticipate it, didn't expect it to happen as often. Yeah, potentially, because I mean, I didn't go there every round, but yeah, it was at least five. Yeah, at least five out of out of the twelve, at least. So. Yeah, but they they changed it up, like like what, yeah, like yeah. you know, maybe they'd do it two times in a row, and yeah. then they wouldn't do it for three rounds or, or whatever it might be. But I think they changed it up enough for um, for Venom to be caught off guard a lot of the time. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what what Venom can pull out the bag here to to try and either win the map or at the very least draw it. Yeah. So we'll anyway take it away with one of the SMGs of the Venom side. Take it away with Ned here as he does throw that nade out towards back A and receives a barrage of nades but doesn't quite get killed. He does get heavily tagged though as he's favouring this top A hold as he just now. Look to be holding the brick site, but the Rugrats, they're nowhere near A, so... Obviously Venom, they don't know that. But they could if they wanted, just get that bomb straight down and... There is Greg at back of A, so he'll hear the, hear the, hear the planet at least, call it out to his teammate who can then rotate. And we and we see from Rugrats here, they're sort of hold, they're doing the angle, you know, the holding the angle defence, they want to win this. They want to, to just get this out over as quickly as possible and move on to crash. Oh wow, great play there from Craig. Got the kill onto the player, dropped down to Gerdes and then picked one up through the wall bank. Evers gets the AK kill onto JT while he's trying to get through Rat Hole, but Evers split away from his team now. One, in fact, only one player towards A. Evers stepping up his game now though. Gets another kill to no regret. Making it a 2v3. Bomb is down inside of A though. Daffy picks up the kill onto Evers and now it's Shady all alone with the AK. There is one player at the top of A in the form of Greg. Gets shot from behind though by Reeks. Great play there from the Rugrats in the end winning that. And, and I guess the issue there was Venom being too passive on A perhaps. They they could have flooded yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and I guess they should have just gauged off what had happened where. Yeah, so, I mean I mean they had three people just, just sat outside A. They, they they didn't want to make the commitment, and yeah, you feel like when your back's against the wall, perhaps everything goes against you. But yeah, they, I just feel like they have to. They need to just rush and try and just get around on the ball, take the risk, you know. Anyway, we find no regret in a one on four. Just get taken down by Shady, and that's the first round on the board for Venom on the attacking side, and they'll hopefully be looking to make this into a bit of a. <laughs> well, a flow of rounds now. I guess I guess when you put it in terms of like what it is, Venom are going to have to win every single round now to take this map. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they need ten rounds in a row to win the map. So if they lose one, the the very best they can do is overtime. But at the moment, it's a pretty even start. Evers, however. The advantage to his team by getting that kill onto Daffy. Now, 
the Rugrats, they've got one player over towards B side, which is no regret, the scope. JT with the AK in garage and then the other player over towards the A side, but he's gonna have to try and hold that himself. But Mayhem pushes in, takes him down with the SMG, could you? Now, with the AK and the bomb, will he be started to push in towards A and try and get this bomb down? 44 seconds left, 2v4. This round's looking set for Venom to take it. However, JT has other plans as he picks the kill up onto Mayon. And Nade Explosive. is attempting to be thrown into the site, but it just just bounced off the wall, <laughs> unfortunate from no regret. JT gets taken down now, no regret, has to pull off a 1v3. Does start well by taking down one, but Kuzhi using the bomb for cover, picks up the kill onto no regret. And uh, another much needed round for Venom. Yeah, and I mean, I mean that was we sort of seen Daffy once again. He's he died sort of early on in the round. He sort of pushed up again, got picked off early, and so did nearly no regret. And yeah, we find the the B side getting weakened from the Rugrat side. But this round, they're sort of going for the more dominant side onto B as we do find ourselves in a four and four situation. And Venom the looking to slowly work their way into A once again and, and we just find just find Greg on his own in the A site and you have to feel that the Rugrats perhaps they need to start doing a bit of rotating and Mayon could find herself two frags here but doesn't manage to land anything and Shady suddenly finds himself in a one on two does manage to land that kill onto no regret but Skiers there to pick up the revenge frag and they now need just one more round to win the map Squeaky bomb time here for Venom, on the verge of losing this second map and going to a decider, which after the strong start they had on the first map, on strike, I guess they weren't expecting this, they was probably gonna... I think they was, would be comfortably taking this map, but uh, Rugrats have bought their A game, and 12-4 uh, up, however, Venom getting off to a very good start, four players down now, Rakes is the last player alive and he's shut down by Pudgy. I mean, I, I don't think this is the case, but it's almost as if Venom, they might have gone, well, we just had a really easy strike. We can sort of take a, you know, notch down a gear, if you like, and, yeah, sail on through. I, d I don't think that would be the case. I think they'd still be trying, but I just think the first few rounds, perhaps they sort of just felt like, you know, it wasn't going to be a challenge, so we can just take a little easy while back. But anyway, the Regrets managed to land two. Lovely frags there onto the Venom side and May on there picking up two frags, taking down Greg in the process and it's now a three on two situation as Venom look to work that bomb towards the B site. Plenty of time left on that clock and it all remains on JT and Reeks to stop any more rounds being taken from the Venom side and Explosives planted. bomb does go down. As Venom have got a great little defensive setup here. And JT managed to land a lovely frag onto Mayon. Doesn't manage to pick up the frag under the bomb onto Shady. And Skier chimes in with the frag onto him eventually. And suddenly they find themselves with 25 seconds left on the clock. They don't know whether it's there, but manages to get two frags quickly. And we could, at this rate, be looking to see a draw come in. Nah. Then I'm going to have to. A perform a miracle. Well, they managed to get the last three rounds. Yeah, that's true, but they're going to have to win another six. And and Shady gets it off to a good start there for Nade, so... It's not just Evened over up, just though. yet. 3v3. Venom haven't decided which bomb site they want to go to yet. Are going to just try and get at least probably one more pick before they decide. And this is where... In mid -house. I was going to say, this is where the Rugrats, they just need to stay disciplined and hold the angle. So many times they've done those silly little peaks, which has just turned the round completely, so... What I've seen, like, from a lot of players, just from experience, is... Um, they'll get killed simply because at this sort of point where there's been no noise made for a while, they get really twitchy and really nervous. Mm. And then try and watch multiple entrances, and what they would have looked at with their gut feeling, they're not looking at, and get killed because of it. Yeah. I've seen it so many times. Evers doesn't quite check his corners and this could be game over for Evers as he does make a noise but no regret he's he's doing that disciplined action he's not peeking he's just waiting for 
Venom to make their move, and this is exactly what they need to be doing. They've got find themselves with just 30 seconds left on the clock. The pressure is now heavily applied to Players Venom. To watch. Shady, I feel, because this position he could do a lot, but he's taken down from the Deagle. I've no regret because she gets the revenge frag go. Ever spots two players, takes down one Daffy. Reich's now got to try and rotate to try and stop this bomb plank going down. Has the SMG in his hand, but it is going to be his teammate Evers who's going to be covering him. But it looks like he's looking at the wrong side just for now. Kuji gets tagged, and now he's got to be. Wow, teammate. never mind. Wow, she gets a kill. Oh, that was so unlucky from the Ruggers. They were doing everything right. They were, yeah, they were playing the discipline game plan that we were talking about. They were just holding the angles. They were waiting for Venom to make the moves, and it just seems unfortunately that No Regret just got caught out there and found himself up against three players. However, Reeks gets a lovely double frag down to Ned and Shady, and suddenly you find the Rugrats are five on three up, and Venom will now be looking to slow the round completely down and try and work their way. Probably towards that B site and try and pick off the Rugrat side as they work their way up to the site. And Kuji here far off a few shots, but doesn't get taken out. And perhaps you feel that he should have done there. And he's suddenly in a one on five situation and manages to find the first one to Reeks. Four left. Daffy, no regret. JT and Greg. 50 seconds left on the clock. It's a lovely headshot there onto Daffy. And what was a one on five is now a one on three, and with again, it's the, the Rugrats are doing that peaking. Yeah, they're now two two men down and still favoured for the round. But you have to feel that you know you got five men up, save those five men, never leave a man behind. However, thirty seconds left on the clock. Just catch a glimpse of a person over at the JCB, but JT comes up the stairs at the right time and. We're going into a third map. Yes, we are. And after the first map, I don't think I would have expected that. No, at and all. To, to be honest, I didn't expect it at all. Full stop. I, mean, I, I, I honestly expected Venom to sort of take away a 2 0 lead. But now, all you lovely people watching get to see another map. Um, sorry if um, my casting is below par, but. I'm being a bit distracted, and plus, uh, yet again, this was sort of like a last minute arrangement, so. <laughs> I don't know anything. Anyway, I'm going to try and shut my curtains now while keeping my headset on. And of course, we have to say that this w this is my second time, this is my second time actually casting properly, or making an attempt of it anyway. Yeah, so of course, the first that's time that's we did that's it. That's why John's so shit. It's <laughs> not so bad, it's not shit. It's fine, we can, we can swear, we can swear. No, we can't! I say it all the, the time on streams. Well, you shouldn't. That's bad. Well, you should have seen it last time when Dennis and uh, James streamed or casted. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> uh, the thing is, I'm probably like one of the worst, one of the worst swearers. I'm pretty terrible for it. Damn, son. But Crash is the deciding map. One-one is the score at the moment. Rugrats taking that last map. Back up. Thirteen to seven, I believe it was. It was indeed. Can't remember the score of the first map, as that was about four years ago. Yeah, something like 13-8 or something. Yeah. Something similar to that, 13-6 maybe. So, yeah. obviously to the Venom side, the French French team. But, uh, I mean, going into Crash, I'd, it's hard to say what's going to happen here. I mean, attack, I think teams, they often find themselves stuck in blue because the defence nades are, are often solid. So, perhaps you have to feel that Given their performance on strike, the Rugrats will probably sh struggle on this map. I mean, if their nades aren't quite up to par, then then Venom will find themselves having an easy attack. You know, being able to push into A quite comfortably, so... I mean, I, I think this will all rest on whether or not the Rugrats' nades are, are with them today. But we'll oh. wait out and see. Oh, it's not May the 4th anymore. I can't say May the 4th. No, it's May the 6th now. You can still made say the, it. Made the sixth with you can say that. <laughs> we can say Sif. Sif. May the sixth sense be with you. May the sixth. That sounds like a tongue twister. No, Sif, bro. I'm screwing up here. May the Sif be with you. Because that's still Star Wars themed. So it's not it's the Force now, it's the Sif. Do you know, I've never watched Star Wars. I'm probably like one in. Well, one out of you. Know, 
You've not watched Star Wars, you No, say. I've never seen it. To be fair, I haven't seen all of them. I've, at least I've seen episode one, that's it. Has anyone that's in chat seen before. Star Wars? Not not that I can respond to it, because I can't see it, but Gaz, I'm sure, can. Well, I can, but I don't have anything to talk about with Star Wars. Like, well, I don't either, obviously. The only reason I've seen the first one was because it was bought for me on VHS, like, years ago. I remember the days of VHS. Good old VHS. Basically the Xbox One, that's what it looks like anyway. <laughs> Night for a round underway to see which side these teams will take. One actually... Venom is going to be coming out strong in this round. One player AFK, JT, no regret now, 3v1, simply because his teammate cannot be asked to knife this round. Either that or he wants to try and clutch it out. No regret, getting chased by three players. Actually two players, one's decided to go for the other one. And uh, fail knife in there from no regret. This AFK player, will he get the surprise knife? Evers is expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm actually surprised they, they opted to throw the knife around like that because on Crash, honestly, I think Attacks you need. Hard. Yeah, attack, attack is just. The, the side is just. It's so difficult. It's rare that you ever see a team come out on top. I mean, so often, you know, the defence side will just take it with an 8 4, and that's such a positive. Sort of vibe, you know. If, if you're on defence and you're eight four up and you're going into attack, well, that gives you such a a boost, and yeah, motivation. Whereas if you're on attack and you're just going into defence four eight down, you yeah. suddenly find yourself, you know, having to go. You probably end up playing way more defensively because you're against That's a brick wall. Yeah, you, know, you, you feel like you have to win every round, and so I'm surprised that they just decided to throw the knife around like that. I mean, I think a lot of teams would favour the defence side. Maybe. Maybe they've sort of already thrown in the towel, they're like just happy to get that one win on backlap. And <laughs> you know, thinking, right, that's it, we're done, we're done, we're done our best lads. Let's and just, we do uh, go yeah. full screen? Oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <I guess> you <laughs> remember. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Mayan spots one player going up the top of A, doesn't get the kill onto Greg though, Greg punishes Mayan for that. Mayan should have definitely got a frag there. And because of that, Rugrats now have control of this A site. Bomb is going down. Smoke thrown out from Evers, who is now pushing towards back A. Greg catches him off guard as he tries to run, and then Shady's is also taken out by Daffy. And the first attacking round goes to Rugrats. Yeah, and I can't really comment on the round because I'm busy blabbering and then going, oh crap, the stream's not full screen, so. I assume that the Rugrats, they managed to just get into the A site. Sounds like he got a lovely frag onto Mayon, and then. That was the deciding factor in that round, but anyway, looking ahead to this one, we see 5-5 five and five still, no one's dropped just yet, as Reeks is looking to get a, a wall bang onto any unsuspecting victim above him, but not managing to quite tag anything just yet, as JT does kill that A player, Ned, and suddenly Mayon, she finds herself on her own, manages to kill Greg, spots another player, doesn't quite land the frag, and you have to feel that... The Rugrats probably need a nay to silence Mayon, but nevertheless, they managed to Ooh. take her out with the SMG, and Venom suddenly find themselves with just three players remaining, and Shady lands that shot onto JT, and once again, we see it must be no regret here, sat in back A, and... Now the Rugrats just need to hold those angles and not get picked off. Daffy, however, does get picked off and Venom here looking to advance onto the site as Reeks and No Regret have it all to do and Reeks peaking once again. Shady managing to take the headshot and Evers finishes off No Regret and you have to feel that Daffy and Reeks are perhaps peaking a little too much and they're just getting picks off when they shouldn't be. They had the bomb that down. Was that was their issue on strike as well. Yeah, I mean they had the bomb down. All they had to do was just stop the stop the team getting in. Yeah. Yeah. You don't right. you don't need to take the scope on at long distance. Take him on at short distance when he's pretty much useless. Yeah, and he's got to do that as well because he's got to get towards the bomb. So they've got to play it to their advantage, really. Which isn't what they're doing at the moment. First blood goes to the Rugrats. Looks like they're going towards. A again, one of his teammates is just out the front of A. Reeks Greg has found himself in a great position here. Greg with the SMG, let's have a look. Reeks, where are you, Reeks? Okay, wow. Oh, wow. Reeks had found himself all the way down B alley 
but Shady with the sniper sitting in the grass, waiting for me to peek. Peeked he did. And that gameplay from Venom there, that's so difficult to play against when they're just holding those angles right back at spawn. I mean, that's so difficult to stop. Greg inside of A though. Mayon, however, has got in, unscathed, bottom of A. And no regret caught unaware there after trying to fire a shot towards sandbags. And now it's a 3v3. Oh, a bomb is down. Wow, great push there from Daffy onto Mayon. And now Evers, all alone. Greg just pushes out on wooden stairs while Evers is preoccupied with the guy at the bottom of A. And, uh... Yeah, Round no. three goes to goes to Rugrats, and if Rugrats keep this up, they could put themselves in good stead to win this win this map. Yeah, and it, it just seems that the Rugrats say that Ned he's playing the A side, and Ned he's on zero for freeze. It seems the Rugrats are just getting that yeah the dominance over Ned, and Ned he's a key player. But yeah, when Ned's playing, he's playing well, but unfortunately he's not quite joined the parties on this map. But anyway, he finds himself in a good position here and lands a hedge on to Greg and suddenly he's just got two players left to find in A. As the jingle does come out. It doesn't quite spot him as he is still just holding that angle. He oh. knows one's above him and he knows one's below him. Evers manages to land the one below him and it's all just reeks that remains. Gets taken out by Evers and... Well, if, if they keep this up, going tit for tat, two for two. I feel that the Rugrats, are, you know, they'll they'll go into defence strong and they've got a good chance to win this, but that's only if they can keep going round for round. Yeah, and there was a few pe peaks there from Rugrats that was a bit unnecessary. Um, got a bit too... Um, what could you say? Well, too aggressive, desperate. I guess. Too, yeah, too, too, too desperate yeah. towards the end. Which, yeah, which, you know, resulted in them getting... And we keep saying this time and time again. JT peeking Evers there. Wow, Evers has gotten on fire. <laughs> Getting frags left and right. Didn't have the best of games. On back lap, but stepped his game up. No regret. Evers still pre firing because of that. No regret. Gets a deagle kill. Shady with a scope. And now, literally, all Rugrats have to do is stick in. They've got 2v1 against the scope. Bomb is down. 25 seconds. Just do not peek. All I would do here is listen to the sound and then try and move into positions where... Yeah, yeah, and, and then and then you just hold the angle and, like Greg there, you know, take him out at the, the closer range. I mean, Shady, you only had a deagle in that situation, you know, so... But still, I feel like Greg could have been caught off guard there. I've, multiple teams at times I've seen, like, scopes push into A and then peek towards that wooden the wooden stairs first and then obviously move into to peek towards... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's difficult mode. to say. I mean, it's, it's, it's all situational based, but I mean, if, if Greg can not peek there, then there's every risk that no regret could have got picked off and then yeah, Shady might have landed a lucky no-scope. I mean, okay, they only had 15 seconds left, so it was unlikely, but, you know. Yeah. It's not necessarily a, the wrong thing to do there. I think they had... Oh. Time on, but Shady manages to land the nade onto JT, and with just one minute on the clock, Daffy and Greg have it all to do. And Shady, here's the player going up above him, gets himself into a lovely fishing bomb, oh. eh? Perhaps should have landed the frag, and does manage to take down Daffy, but Greg with a revenge frag, and it's all Evers and Kuchi remain the two AK players for Venom, as Greg does look to take the bomb up. Planting in this position, it's great. He can't be wall banged from sandbags. And obviously if the nade does come in, he can run straight up to those stairs. Lands a tag onto Evers. As he will now look to Pete. Manages to kill Evers. Here's the player running into front A. He's just got 30 seconds to play with the clock. As he does spot the player. Lands a lucky headshot there. And the Rugrats, now they're looking to pull away and it's 4-2. Yeah, and I've seen Greg get a few great kills on, on Bakla, and he's not disappointing on this map either. Putting a shift for his team currently on top. 8 and 2, Daffy on 5, and I'll make that 6 and 4 as he picks up a, <laughs> a grenade kill onto Evers. His other teammates, no regret, Reeks and JT all pretty close behind. Wow. And nades galore for this Rugrat side, leaving Kushet. Last man alive, taken down by the Deagle, no regret. 
down Bialy. Fast round there from from Rugrats. Great nades coming out from him. Something that there was lacking on strike. And uh, yeah, they're now 5 2 up. Yeah, I mean, ha having seen the way they're playing on Crash and Backlot, uh, teams notoriously, they have that one map that just doesn't click for them. So perhaps Strike just wasn't their map. But I mean, wasn't it them that chose Strike? If I remember right, uh, I'm sure I'm sure they were the ones that lost the knife round and they chose Strike. So it's interesting that they chose that map given they just didn't have the nades or smokes to to play yeah, it. He should have definitely picked up a kill there. Maybe two kills. Gets a second. Breaks there. Shouldn't have repeaked really that. He got shot at bottom eight. The shot was missed. He should have realised that the scope was still going to be watching towards there. And players just complete. Wow, just bad positioning here from Rugrats. Because of that, Shady was able to get a few easy kills with the sniper. Yeah, I mean, in fairness to Reek, sometimes, yeah, when I've been playing, okay, you get shot at, but you don't realise the shot at you. Yeah, I guess Get my so. words out better there. Yeah, the shot at you, so... Perhaps he just didn't have a... Time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Getting yeah, tongue twisted, my mouth's dry. The thing is, is even if... Even if Rugrats lose every round now, 7-5 is not a bad score. To yeah, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. And 7-5, that's a... I, I'd say that's a great attack, especially on this map. Yeah, you can just go into defence. You know exactly what you need to do and you just have to hold the angles. But with the way the Rugrats are peaking, you have to feel that perhaps, you know, it won't be enough on defence. I, I think Venom have realised that now and they're starting to pick up kills just from utilising Rugrats' mistakes. Greg's all alone, Sniper's still going for the pre-shots through the wall. His teammate as well, he's also shooting out when nades come through <laughs> and... Yeah, great play there from, from the Venom players, made it to a position where Greg couldn't do anything. Yeah, and that nade, thrown from the sandbags, perfectly timed from Shady, anticipated the plant. Yeah, he's probably called that he was pushing up, so... Venom are obviously communicating well. As we see Ned here, he's made his way onto the A site. Not going to come across anyone as the Rugrat side are favouring the B push this round. Something they've done a lot on these maps. Elevus gets a lovely double frag onto Reeks and Daffy, but No Regret comes in with a frag of his own on to Evers as JT and No Regret find themselves in a two on three situation. As Kuchi finds the frag onto JT, and it's just No Regret with it all to do. Tags up Kuchi, doesn't quite manage to finish a frag, and. He will now find himself having every angle pushed. And Venom, they're taking it back to 5-5. That's three rounds in a row now on there. Yeah, and realistically, if Rugrats want to go into the defensive side on a high... Yeah, I mean, I feel they have break. to go 6-6, six, six, yeah. They need to break this, this, uh, this lock that Venom just seemed to have got on them as it stands. I mean, I mean the opening kill by a nade onto to Reeks, which it immediately puts him at the disadvantage. Shady with a nice shot down to Greg, who tries to push into the bottom A. Shady with an AK kill onto Mayan, but as it stands, the Rugrats, they've just gone full defensive at the moment. They've got no push anywhere. There's an aggressive player up long who is Kajit with the AK. Does know there's a player at spawn as well, picks up the kill onto him. JT making way too much noise. Easy pickings there for Kajit, making it a 2v4, and it's not looking too good for... The Rugrat says it's only no regret left. He's in bottom blue. Does spot the sniper going into the top sandbags. Misses the shot and in return he's going to get tagged up by his teammate. Oh nice deagle there but is it going to save him? There's still three players left to find. Got to pull something out of the bag here. 40 seconds left. Doesn't even have the bomb. The bomb is towards spawn. There is a player just inside the mid A. Ned. Great timing from him. 6-5, yeah. and mm. yeah, like we said, now this is going to be where Rugrats are going to have to try and win this round. Yeah, and I think they'll be bitterly disappointed. Yeah, they were 5-2 up. If they come out of this as a loss, I think they will just be bitterly disappointed, yeah, to, to just throw those last five rounds like that. Yeah. Could prove costly. But, we go into this round and we quickly find ourselves into a 2-on-4 situation, and Shady soon makes that a 1-on-5 as... No regret has it all to do on his own, on his own. As Kuchi, Ned, and Evers are all that remain. They know the bomb's over at Jenny's, so 
just about holding the angles now to keep no regret out of the round and take it to a 7-5 win on defence. As I don't think no regret will be expecting this player to be behind him. And he'll probably caught off guard and Kuchi lands an easy shot there and I think what Venom did there is they just went into full defensive mode as you said and they just they held the angles, they did what they needed to do, got the nades working and yeah, I was gonna, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say this like, when if you're if you're regrets, and you've, you're losing that many rounds in a row, what do you do? Do you play more defensive and just prevent that first player from going down, or um, do you get aggressive and just hope that you catch them off guard? Or what? What do you do? Yeah, I mean, I guess in those situations, a lot of teams do favour the sort of the slow push, uh, try and get the picks as you say, wait for the nades, stay alive. But I think on this map. It happens so much and it just doesn't work. If, if you're on attack and you find yourself stuck in blue, yeah. it, it just it does n it, it rarely works, you know? Maybe 2 out of 12 rounds it will work, but that's not enough. I think, to be fair, like, just Explosions thinking about it, planted. B, Ali is a, oh god, B, Ali is a, a very good option to choose because there's really yeah, only yeah. A, a few places you can be shot from. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of teams do do that. Yeah, they they find themselves stuck in blue, and then they'll work that Bialy. But Shady here comes out with two lovely frags, and the bombs parted in the perfect position for both these players to <coughs> pick JT off. And with just 20 seconds left on the clock, Shady picks up the third frag, and Venom is starting to run away with this one. The thing is, is that there's no smoke or anything like to help to help um, Rugrats to try and even defuse that. The bomb, like you said, the bomb is planted in such a position that the scope and the AK yeah. could, could quite easily see it and making it impossible for, for Rugrats to defuse. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I feel now now they know that that's the sort of strategy that they're favouring, then perhaps perhaps the Rugrats will take take a smoke over a flash now, just in case that happens again, but... <clears throat> Nevertheless, Venom, they come in with two early frags onto that A site, and Daffy and JT... Backs against the wall as they now lose yet another player and it's all down to JT as he has to find the four remaining players of Venom. Lands two tags but no frags and we're now 9-5. What, what was a 5-2 is now a 9-5 in favour of Venom. And the Rugrats, I don't know if they've switched off or what but they need to do something special. Seven straight rounds for Venom and winning rounds on attack as well. Daffy here is favouring an aggressive push. Does manage to take down there, gets quickly silenced by Shady and... <coughs> Perhaps it's just that over-pushing, over-peaking that could be the fall of the Rugrats. Still, looking into this round, we see that Venom, one man down with one minute and ten left on the clock as Greg picks up the frag onto Evers. Evers has been a key player throughout this whole match and it's all down to Kuji and Shady as JT drops to that SMG of Shady and there's just 55 seconds left on the clock now and the attacking team Such need to... Such smart play there by Skier. Continue? Okay, sorry mate. Oh, I was gonna. What was he doing? What What did Skier do? <laughs> Basically, he bayed out, going out the back of of hardware, which distracted uh, one of the Venom players, and then right. ended up going back round and catching uh, Shady, Shady off guard yeah. down down BLA and picked up an easy kill. And actually, Rugrats was able to to break that that lock of losing so many rounds in a row. Yeah, and actually, I think I think that round was probably. Daffy he managed to find himself up that Bialy really quickly and got, a, got an early pick onto the attacking SMG and that, that completely slowed down the Venom push which allowed the Rugrats to rotate accordingly and and turn the round around. Turn the round around. Yeah, it's a confusing sentence that. Huh, going into this round we see that neither team has quite managed to land a frag just yet. As Venom find themselves sort of stuck outside A, stuck in that blue side. Mayon with the wall bang up onto Greg, and Ned comes in with a SMG frag of his own onto Daffy, and they'll now be looking to work that B site. Shady, he's got himself into the position. He's waiting for that bomb plant. 
as he does catch a glimpse of the AK retreating back to A and the Venom side have now planted this perfectly for Shader just to sit and spawn and the Rugrats will be hoping they've got a smoke free not needed though as Kuji and Mayon take down the two attacking players and it's now 10-6 yeah, the score the score line's looking very good for Venom. Oh, I hear a I've slight yawn him. coming out there. No, I'm not yawning. Um, <laughs> just opening my mouth wide to make sure that um, I can speak properly. So make sure you can yeah. hype up the remaining few rounds. Yes. Well, I don't know, I am rather tired. Aren't we all? First blood goes to no regret with the nade on servers. All first blood, always good for that defensive side. Stops any aggressiveness coming out. Gator. Great play. Did he get, oh, okay, did his teammate get the kill onto the guy in blue? Uh, no, six scary. He was. He's oh. sort of I was going to say scary, scary. Off the roof. <laughs> Gets a flying shot. Yeah, I mean scary. Sort of found himself and wooden. Got a lovely kill onto. Uh, I love to kill onto the pallet jump, and then um, I think he knew the scope was probably going to be watching A, so he did a nice little strafe dart and picked off the player coming up into the A site and managing himself to relatively easy frags. Which is fairly close at the moment, only three rounds in it, but... Yeah, and I mean, when you look at the scoreboard, they're, they're, I mean, Shady's pulling away for his team, but otherwise speaking, you know, everyone else is pretty much on par with each other. The scoreboards are pretty evenly matched. True. JD picking up another kill. Finally getting that 20 bump. Mayan does actually just spot one of the Rugrats players pushing up wooden stairs. And he knows he's there, but Reeks has got a perfect position there for peeking the window. And lands that kill. Onto Mayan. <laughs> now it's a 3v4. Rugrats. Uh. I was about to say, looking to take this round, but Shady with a great deagle there to JT now pushes back up towards B long smokes down B as well for Daffy to hopefully bait him out thinking he's going to get on B long the bomb is at the pallets oh Reeks push oh Shady wasn't able to stop his teammate falling but doesn't matter because Shady is just absolute beast in it four kills that round I believe yeah yeah four kills and that was unlucky from the Rugrats there I mean JT he had himself in a good position he was playing the discipline play but it was almost as if he was trying to hold BLE and mid and then he had Daffy sort of in spawn covering the same place anyway no regret he finds himself with two quick frags and Daffy comes in with his own onto Ned and 10 seconds into the round Evers finds himself all alone with every single player of the Rugrats side to find and they managed to Bring it back to 11-8, and the Rugrats need every single round now to come out with a win. And if they keep that sort of performance up, you know, everything's possible. Round starts off with a nade from Reeks, and then a kill there from Greg as well. Great start for them to this round. Yeah, and I just was going to pick up, I mean, Greg there, I assume it was Greg that rushed. Yeah, he got the kill anyway. Yeah, so I mean, he, he rushed up to mid, he got the frag, and then rather than staying mid, he retreated back. Which is exactly what they need to be doing, yeah? They don't want to get too aggressive, get the early picks, and then retreat back and wait for Venom to make their move. I mean, that's, that's, that's exactly what they need to be doing. And... Regrets. I think, like, they just seem to be peaking, like, the mid, like, quite a lot. Yeah, I, I feel feel like they just need to like no regret here. He's got a great angle here, holding the holding the mid. I just feel like this is what they probably yeah. need to be doing. When, when once they get to the five and three, the four and three, they just need to hold the angles because Venom, they're the ones that need to make the move. So why peak? Yeah. They don't seem to be playing defense as it's supposed to be played. Yeah, and, 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 and there's other rounds where they do it perfectly. So. Yeah, well, it, now we see here they were on a 4 and 3, and now they're in a 3 on 3, and they find themselves having to just. Yeah, they're, they're just having to sit in now. More so than what they would have had to have done. Yeah, they're. they're 15 seconds left on the clock, though. 3v2, which means could just find himself in having to run. And because of that, the player's going to know exactly where he is. He's got to go for the plant as well. Can the player stop it? No, he can't. He can get the bomb down, but it doesn't matter. He's 
JT's there to pick up the kill. Yeah, it was really well played by JT, just charged at the bomb site. it didn't allow Evers to do anything. Yeah, because it's always dangerous territory uh, if, if that player picks up the first kill. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah the, t the rest of the team find themselves, like, trying to get aggressive on him because they don't allow the player to pick up the easy kills that he wouldn't usually be able to get. Looking into this round, Venom, they have two great SMG spawns here, so we'll look to make their way onto A aggressively, and Ned picks up oh. the only A player, and suddenly the Rugrats are down to a 2 on 4 situation as JT gets picked off by Mayon, and it's all down to No Regret, the sniper for the team, and he has no answers, and suddenly it's just one round needed for Venom to win the match and the series. Venom looking to take this map unless Rugrats can pull something fantastic off. They've just got to play it clever. If they do That's that, oh. uh, they've got the skill to, to take the rounds. Daffy tagged up from... Top harder, harder Ned. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ned, Ned, Ned got himself into a great position. And actually, Daffy, he wasn't expecting it at all. And... And had Daffy just kept watching towards mid for one second longer, Ned would have had the frag. But Daffy he managed to turn just at the right time. Typical COD timing. And, you know, Ned wasn't able to pick the frag up. I think Ned just spotted one player in the spawn house but didn't realise it. There was two players around there. And look at this Venom side. Look where they're all positioned. Three yeah, of they're them stacked up. They're heavy. Ned going for the jump onto the roof. And... Oh, oh, Daffy stopped that first one. There are three players around this B-side to stop him going down. No regret the second onto Evers. 2v4. The bomb's still trying to go there, but I feel like that's a mistake. But he can't really get across to A in time as he tries to go up to top hardware. Greg picking him off with the SMG. Shady missing the frag onto him. Reeks from behind with the SMG. That's 12-10 and it's two rounds separating. But Rugrats have to win both of these rounds just to have a chance of taking this map. Yeah, indeed. And I imagine there's some tense times on team speed right now is... I'm sure there's a lot of fingers being bitten as the Rugrats look to win the match or win the last three rounds anyway to bring it back to an overtime and try and get that place to play against Irinus Friday as Greg has two frags of his own onto the Venom side and Skier's caught off guard there by Mayon and Greg following up with the frag not quite managed to land it just yet and Mayon here is in a spot of bother. Uh, she's trying to land the kill. Does manage to kill Greg, and Skier will be following up with a revenge frag. Perhaps should have landed that sooner than he did, but managed to kill him. And now Shady and Evers are all that are alive for the Venom team. And the Rugrats are doing exactly what they need to do. They're just holding those angles, making sure Venom make the move first. As Evers looks like Rugrats have gone keen. They've, they've you know, Whoa. Oh, what? What was that? <laughs> Whoa! Slowly on Evers. That was actually crazy. And wow, we can see him, but I couldn't even see him there. I do now. He got a hit marker there. Oh, why didn't he got the hit markers onto Reek? Uh, Reek says, "Oh, what the hell?" Evers on a mission right there. That's headshot <laughs> through middle. <laughs> it's like it. What it's like he fired the perfect amount of bullets, and all of them hit his head. Yeah. I mean, they happen occasionally. 12-11 though, John. 12-11. Take it away, son. Take it away. I took it away last time. I'll take oh, it away this time. I've got to be quiet. Is everyone yawning in the household? Oh, it's the last round. Right, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daffy, he's been taken out in potentially the last round of the match, and that could be crucial for the Venom side if they want to win this. The Venom here, they're, they're tr trying to wait for the Rugrats to peak. JT holding an angle, manages to find the kill onto Ned. Shady pushes down Bialy. I'm surprised the Rugrats, they left that Bialy open. Really surprised about that, that's a key area to hold. And especially in this sort of map, where the attack is a slow round, you know, I mean, the teams, they always push down Bialy, or that mid area, and I'm surprised that they let that one go, but... Still, Mayon here is in a great position. She's at top A. Spot Skier, and oh my god, I can't believe she's managed to find her way up there. That's so 
poorly defended from the Rugrats here. Yeah. And now Greg... Greg is and they're going to rotate. Yeah, and I'm really surprised Mayon got to top A. I don't even know how she managed to do that because you had Skier on Wooden and you had Greg inside A. I'm not quite sure what Greg was doing. He must have... I can only assume that Mayon rushed it because Explosive. to allow someone to get top A when two of your SMGs are both up, I'm surprised they let that happen. Oh. I really am. He just failed the jump onto the roof. Oh, he might be able to get another kill here as he picks up one who was on the bum. He knows one's in spawn house as well and one's pushing around towards the red car. Greg can play this right. He's still got uh. 25 seconds to play with, but he's, he's going to struggle. Yeah, and he's trying to find an angle on the bomb, but it's not going to happen. And gets taken down by Mayon in the end. And so unlucky from the Rugrats, but I mean, all play to you know, all fair play to Venom there. Mayon did a great job in that last round, getting straight to the top of A, and that was the game saver. Yeah, I mean, I mean, props to Rugrats. They they got absolutely hammered on the first map, but they showed real character there to to take back lot and yeah, almost definitely almost uh, clutch it out on Crash. But I mean, I think it's fair to say yeah, after after Strike, I think anyone would have favoured Venom there to just sail away, take back lot comfortably. But you know, in the end. Rugrats gave him a good run for their money, and I think I think they'll feel hard done by. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they took it right down to the wire at the end, but it was just, I think it was those peaks, you know, those, we spoke, we say it so many times, I can't believe how many times we said it, but it's just, the nades and the peaks, were, yeah, they're down for, in my opinion. Yeah, plus, I mean, Venom just, they was extremely disciplined, they did it right, they showed, you know, how, how, how it's done, and... Shady, I mean, he's just a beast of a player, and Ned as well on strike. So, well, I mean, I think I think the whole of the Venom side, play, yeah. I mean, Evers, he he was a key key part of strike, key part of crash in the end. The back lot, he didn't do so well. You know, kept getting caught out on top ruins, but yeah. Nevertheless, obviously, there's some work to do there for their team, but very true. Well played to both teams, and obviously, the winner of this will go up against Irinus this Thursday. Not quite sure of a time yet, but I mean, you know, they're usually around the sort of 9pm CET, so please do join us for that. Of course, you can follow us on Twitch by clicking that little button. Is it bottom right? Bottom left? Bottom left. Bottom left. Or, you know, like us on Facebook, Cybergamer EU, or Twitter, CG Europe, and you'll be notified exactly when we go live this Thursday. Yes. Where, of course, the winner of that match will be invited to the invite league and we will be streaming that for, throughout the next few months as well as i mean i spoke about it in the last stream but yeah we're looking to do a few pay to pay cups as well so so each team puts in five to ten euros and the winner will walk away with you know 50 or 100 euros so we can toast one of those each month just to give the you know the amit well the five and five teams if you like you know just something else to do those that aren't in the invite league thought pay to play cup should have happened a long time on cod 4 would have been yeah nice. definitely yeah definitely it would have been so nice but i mean you know never too late <laughs> true it's true well you say that but anyway i think that's us done for tonight correct i think it is as well oh well that's fantastic thank you everybody for watching uh, i've seen some familiar faces in chat some good discussions i was following the chat pretty closely so uh, yeah, make sure you do tune in on Thursday for the, the, the game which decides who goes through who CGI. But other than that, that is us signing out. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Peace!